Good Thursday evening, everybody, live and direct from Out and About. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik on a drizzly and fairly soggy Thursday evening, very much on the cool side out there as well as temperatures tonight, as you can see in our forecast bar here in the blue. We're showing again the possibility of more showers out there for tonight, more drizzle more than anything else, and things are going to continue to be a little bit on the breezy side from time to time, but we're not really looking at a huge amount of rainfall. Either way, with a lot of the rainfall going on out into parts of the Mid-South earlier this last weekend, giving us again the potential for, again, some more flooding, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So soak down roadways, going to be something, again, to take it very easy on for tonight, and into early tomorrow morning. Questions, concerns, ideas, anything like that you want to know about this particular netcast called Weather Overtime, please let me know. It's all available again on our social media pages at wrag.com slash weather. And of course, our forecast information here, more social weather, more social media information down here into the red bar at the lower portion of your screen. And all these icons, again, that's all where you can get the forecast. And of course, don't forget wrag.com slash weather. A lot more activity going Going on into around eastern parts of Arkansas as we see again the potential for uh, more of uh, flooding taking place up and down the Mississippi River from up around Missouri into around parts of Missouri, uh, Mississippi and Arkansas. Plenty of flooding going on right now. And this rain that we've got at this time is not helping things at this point. So it would be nice to kind of get some dry weather in here, which we will, but it's just going to be a couple of days before that actually happens. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit. Storm system passing very close to our area. It is again moving right across the Mid-South. The upper level low, several thousand feet up, spinning its way over parts of the upper Midwest, just above us, up to around between us and St. Louis. You can see that sharp turn with the jet stream right there, and that great big sort of thumbprint looking uh, whirl of energy right around where the jet stream is howling down from the north and then back to this from the south up to the north again. That's the energy of the jet stream helping to stir this moisture up and give us, again, these thunderstorms that we've got from the last couple of days last night into the drizzle and the colder air coming down from the north from what we've seen over the last couple of days. Radar at this time directly in the Mid-South area. If we zoom out by just a little bit, you were able to see earlier, you can just see a little bit of it over on the right-hand side of your screen to where we did have a little bit of some moisture going northward. And if you look over here on the left-hand side of your screen got moisture coming southward so that area of low pressure is somewhere right in this area at least down toward the surface these things are like great big rotating cylinders in the atmosphere and right now that system is going right across the mid-south area so through about rush hour tonight we've got again more moisture coming our way spotty stuff for the most part over the metro area at this time we're just not seeing a lot of major activity so far but we can still see again areas of showers out there northern mississippi is picking up what Arkansas is laying down. So all of this activity is going to be making its way into parts of Mississippi tonight, and that means more wet roadways out there. And unfortunately, that's coming right on down from parts of Missouri, which is where it's not needed. All that rainfall rotating its way into the Mid-South, and that's over areas that have gotten entirely too much rainfall and going to continue to see a lot of that into the rest of the evening. So if you're heading up that direction, please call ahead and check your destination because as of right now, we could see again a lot more road closings up there. Also reporting major damage from some of those storm systems up there. So something to think about again if you are traveling across portions of the Mid-South and into around northeast Arkansas, southern Missouri. That storm system again on the surface maps making its way up across the mid-Mississippi Valley, heading up the Ohio Valley and making its way out of the picture, which means lots of high pressure is on its way. And that means more stable air heading on into the Mid-South. But as of right now, the view from in and around portions of the Mid-South area Looking at the St. Francis Cam in Cordova, soggy, slow travel out there for this evening, and even more drizzle showing up on the Cotton Exchange Cam. So we are seeing, again, a lot of very light, drizzly conditions out there, and we'll continue to see some of that throughout the rest of the evening. Not going to be helping the flooding situation out, unfortunately. If you take a look over parts of northeast Arkansas and back into around southern Missouri, you do see a lot of the red and purple coloring. That is, again, minor to moderate to major flooding, minor flooding in the orange. So we've got areas in and around the Black River, up around Corning, Arkansas, and also into and around the area of, let's see if I can get this to work here. Sorry about that. This should be going 
Uh, there we go. Again, you can see a pretty big dip coming down off of the major river peak around the current river at Donovan, Missouri. Black River of Corning, Arkansas, just barely scraping into major territory, but that's still a lot of water coming down the waterways there. St. Francis River in Lake City, Arkansas, not doing too bad, but major flooding taking place on the Black River at Black Rock, Arkansas, and also a little farther around the area of Pocahontas, seeing some very major flooding. It looks like you are cresting in and around that area, or will be doing so uh, throughout the rest of the next about maybe 24 hours and heading on downward and then getting again rid of most of that water, which is definitely good news. But unfortunately, we're going to continue to see a lot of more in the way of rainfall out there. Here's a wide scale view. Again, you can see what you're looking at here. The areas of rainfall kind of rotating through that area, spinning around. That's what we're getting in the way of rainfall. Again, that storm system making its way through very slowly, but taking the rainfall on with it. And as it does move its way out of the picture, some beautiful high pressure weather coming our way. So what we've got is, again, some pretty quiet conditions. Again, for now, some rain out there as well. Rain could stick around into very early tomorrow on Friday, maybe even into the afternoon hours. And then as we get into Saturday, much nicer as that rain takes off to the east high pressure comes in and things are going to be looking a lot nicer as that storm system passes out of the area. But it's going to take, it looks like, at least until dinner time tomorrow, even 6 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, before all that rain gets out of here and low pressure with that accompanying cold front moves that storm system on out of the picture and gets it on out of here back to the east of us. So that's going to take a little while to get that done. Either way, the weekend looks good into next week, warming up by just a little bit as that storm system begins begins to make its way on through. Another one comes in from the west, and that could be our next weather maker coming on through as we get into around areas of, say, next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So stay tuned for more on that. Low temperatures tonight going back into the mid to upper 40s, so a little bit on the cool side out there for tonight. So definitely want to think about a jacket and possibly an umbrella as well. For Friday, high temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s to the mid to upper 60s, and looking at those showers again lingering through the day tomorrow but then leaving as we go into afternoon and evening. Friday night low temperatures back in the upper 40s to right about 50 degrees and unfortunately looks like some of that rainfall may be close to us by dinner time leaving the area and then clearing out into early Saturday morning looking absolutely excellent there. A few clouds sticking around for the weekend but otherwise mostly clear skies. Some of those clouds could be up around Union City, Jackson, Dyersburg, north of uh, Blytheville. That's going to be the main thing for right now, but otherwise not really too much to worry about for Saturday. Uh, let's go back for a second. High temperatures Saturday in the mid to upper 70s, very close to normal. Low temperatures Saturday night, cool, but not exactly frosty, 40s and 50s. And then for Sunday, more sunshine. Looking at a few clouds out there, about 10-15% at best, and then high temperatures Sunday back again in the lower to mid 70s. So looking very nice out across the area uh, for that going on. So definitely good news there where it comes to our weekend forecast coming on through. Glancing blow from a solar storm moving on through the area. We'll have more on that coming up on our astronomy blog coming up later on. Also, the Earth is passing through a stream of debris from Halley's Comet, and that is going to be visible in the Eta Aquarius. Aquaria meteor shower. Again, this is going to be uh, going on throughout the course of the next couple of days. It's a weak shower. It's not that huge, but it is possible to see at least a few meteors out there. Now, it's cloudy tonight, but that doesn't mean that you can't continue to at least listen to what's going on with the meteors. This is livemeteors.com, and if you go to livemeteors.com and listen to the live meteor stream, you can see a little bit more about what's going on in this waterfall display. You Notice the times going down from the screen, the latest at the top, the earlier stuff at the bottom. And when you see a display on here that has a bright sort of pip of light, you can tune in and listen to what's going on. Let me see if I can turn this on. I'm not too sure if you can hear this at home. If you're listening to this, what you're hearing is basically background static of a receiver, and that is listening to radio waves in and around the Earth's atmosphere. So when a meteor crashes into the atmosphere, it ionizes the gas, kind of strips the molecules by just a little bit, and that does a good job of allowing the atmospheric trail of that meteor to bounce radio waves at a different angle, and that's picked up by the radar as a display of light on here. I haven't seen anything coming down the waterfall display just yet. There's one right there. 
fairly weak, but it's, again, something you can listen to, and you'll hear sort of a uh, ghostly echo, sort of a whistling sound, a descending sound. There's another one. Could be space. There's one, okay, space junk, meteors, things of that nature. So even when it's cloudy outside and we can't see anything, you can still hear the meteors by listening to livemeteors.com. So if you'd like to give this a try again, livemeteors.com is one of the best places you can go to for stuff uh, like this. So a good opportunity to see more on what's out there and definitely want to listen in on what's going on. And again, we'll have more information coming up on this if you'd like to learn more on our astronomy blog called Skyblog3. So check into that when you have the opportunity to do so. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for Thursday evening's early evening edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Over time and stay tuned to news channel three on air and online at wrhg.com slash weather for more and we'll keep you up to date on what's going on jim jaggers has your forecast coming up tonight on news channel three at 10 live and direct from out and about in the mid-south area i'm meteorologist austin onyx stay tuned for much more coming up with news channel three on air and online and thanks for joining us again for tonight's edition of weather overtime